Heirlooms are the rarest item in Apex Legends. And if you aren't lucky, it can be pretty expensive to get your hands on one. But don't worry, because in this video, I'll show you how to get an heirloom for free, guaranteed. But first, big thanks to Outplayed for sponsoring this video. Don't you wish you could capture every kill, win, or even death? Outplayed automatically records in the background and makes clips of, well, what do you tell it to? Whatever you choose will show up on the timeline for your convenience, allowing you to look back and decide what you want to do with the highlights that you've decided on, including exporting small clips or even full games to YouTube. Whether you want to trim a clip and send it to the group chat or review your own dev to see what you could do better, Outplayed's got you covered. Outplayed supports over 300 games and the list just keeps getting bigger. Check out the link in the description and download Outplayed for free today. The Season 14 patch, which released on the 9th of August 2022, had respawned and EA do something completely completely unexpected, they gave us a lot more loot boxes for free. This patch featured a prestige system, which allows players to reset their level up to four times, leading to a total level cap of 2000. While it doesn't seem like a big deal at first, this means that you can now get over 544 packs just from leveling up. And that doesn't count battle pass packs or events or anything else. For those unaware why this would be a big deal, Respawn actually has gone on record, guaranteeing heirloom shards after you've opened 500 boxes. Boxes. So if you level yourself up all the way up to 2000, that means that you now have at least one heirloom without having to spend even as much as a penny. So those are great news. But let's not end the video here because leveling up 2000 levels is a daunting task. Sure, the first few levels are pretty easy, but the closer you get to 500, the more experience it will take per level. To give you some perspective, leveling up from level 9 to 10 takes 8150 experience points and leveling up one level in between between 400 and 500 takes 36,000 points per level, almost four and a half times more. So if you're strictly looking for experience points to level up and to get those experience points as fast as humanly possible, you might be asking yourself, what is the most optimal strategy to farm levels in Apex in 2022? And if you apply the tricks in this video, you can speed up your level increase by hundreds of percent. So let's start off by explaining how the point system works. After all, the strategy that I'm going to present to you later in this video might not be optimal for your playstyle, and as such you might want to make small tweaks to get the most out of your level grind. As I previously mentioned, the experience necessary per level will increase until you cap out your level and reset in a so-called prestige. Before you ask me, it's completely automatic, you don't need to click anything to actually do this. You can prestige up to 4 times for a total account level of 2000, and you get a new badge every time you hit prestige. I'm not going to list all of the specific numbers per level since that would take forever, but if you are interested in knowing exactly how much experience it will take. Here is a table showing you just how much experience that you need to level up at any level in the game. The most notable data that isn't on this table, I had to run a lot of math, is that it will require you 12,188,800 experience points to get from level 1 to 500. And if you want to go through the whole prestige leveling from 1 to 2000, that requires 48,755,200 points. Knowing this might put the grind that you want to do in perspective, and you can still try power leveling to get your free loot boxes, but realistically you're going to want to look for ways to optimize your experience gain per play session, rather than playing for the around 1015 hours straight it would take to do this entire grind. And that's just survival time, because going from level 1 to 2000 will take you thousands of hours of playtime, no matter the strategy, so you'll want to strap in for the long haul. But optimizing your strategy for experience gain will make you level up up to 5 times faster, but optimizing your strategy from just not really think about it to actually going for experience gain will make you level up up to five times faster. So keep watching if you want to get that heirloom as fast as possible. So how do you actually gain experience? Well, here's a table displaying the various ways that you can gain experience in Apex. If you win a match, you will get 900 XP points. Your survival time, so the amount of times that your boots are on the ground, you will get 1000 points for every five minutes of play. Every kill will net you 50 experience. Every 500 damage will give you 100 experience. If you revive an ally, you get 25 experience. If you respawn an ally, that's 200 experience points per ally. Your first win of the game will give you 500 additional experience points every 24 hours. By becoming kill leader, you will get 50 more points. And if you play with your friends, as in in a private stack, either two stacking or three stacking, you'll also get 5% more 
more XP points at the end of the game. As you can see, the most constant factor will be your survival time, at 1000 experience points gained every 5 minutes of play. This means that over the course of our average game of 15 minutes, you will get 3000 experience points just for staying alive. Not only is this the most constant factor, but it outweighs most bonuses in efficiency, period. Contrary to popular belief, you're not going to want to look for a lot of kills early in the game and then drop out or leave the game, because this really only nets you 50 experience points per kill, tacked on with your damage and of course your survival time. The truth is that the most efficient way to gain experience is through spending a lot of time alive. That means that you want to drop a little bit safer than hot, play rotations and make sure you make it late into the game. The longer the game runs out, the more experience you will get per game. There's also some bonus points to be gained from winning the match, killing a champion or getting overall kills or damage, but it's all outweighed from consistently just staying alive for long. So basically just play the game with survival in mind and you'll get points much faster than someone who drops hot and dies over and over again. This is also why I'm still pretty low level, because I do the latter. <laughs> it's worth noting that playing in a pre-made party with friends won't only increase your chances of doing well and winning, but it also gives you a small 5% increase in points gained overall. Which means that if we assume that every game you play is a 15 minute game where you get 5 kills on average with a thousand damage on average, this would amount to a gain of about 3622 points gained per game. Not accounting for top 5, killing the champion, or of course winning the match, all of which would tack on a pretty nice amount of experience points as well. That might sound like a little compared to the millions of points you need to get, but before you get discouraged, wait until I tell you about a way to significantly increase your experience gain up to 3 times as much per game. This does come at the cheap cost of a battle pass, but it is a lot less than buying 500 loot boxes. Not to mention, you get extra loot packs in some premium battle pass levels, so it's definitely a good step in the right direction anyways. In the latest premium battle pass, users will get a XP boost on the first level, level 6, 14, 22, 30, 38, 46, 54, 62, and 70. Each one of these XP boosts individually adds 10% to your experience bonus for placing in the top 5 or winning a game, so adding a modifier to the bonus points you'd get. This modifier kicks in if you're playing in a pre-made party and stacks between all of the members combined at a maximum of an additional 300% bonus experience if you become top 5 or the Apex Champion. Further adding to the fact that you'll want to play as many games to completion as possible, ideally placing in a top 5 or even winning as well. To clear any confusion, these XP boosts will stay on your account for the entire duration of the season and won't expire until the season is over, no matter whether you played a game with them or not. See it as a buff to your experience gain, which continues leveling up. What's good about the battle pass is that while, yes, it does have an upfront cost, you actually get Apex coins just by continuing to level up your battle pass. Meaning that as long as you continue playing and leveling up your battle pass, you'll get enough Apex coins to purchase a new one in the following season, with some extra Apex coins to go if you want to save up for some skins in the following seasons as well. Yeah, yeah, Otter, I get it. The battle pass is worth the money. But how do I level it up? I'm glad you asked, Otter. Just like leveling up in general, there's a strategy to level up your battle pass as fast as possible as well. You gain battle pass experience experience the same way you get experience in the game, where playing games out to completion and ideally placing high is the most efficient way to level up. But there is one more thing you can do here, which is challenges. Every season has a new set of challenges per week, coupled with challenges that you get on the daily. These challenges are varying in difficulty, but can be rerolled if deemed too difficult, and when completed will give you a varying amount of stars, which when combined will give you a battle pass level as well. Your best bet is trying to play your games out while trying to go for challenges on the side to accomplish to grind with your pre-made squad. Before this season, some battle pass challenges were only available in arenas or in BR or in ranked, where you can now complete the challenges by playing any game mode that you would like. So in short, make sure to play in a full stack that everyone has to battle pass up to at least level 70 and that you're playing the games to completion or at the very least top 5 or 2nd and help you get an heirloom for free as fast as possible. If you're interested in learning one counter for every Apex Legend, check out the video on the screen. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.